Hello everyone and welcome back to the Goomba Grows YouTube channel where today we're going to show you guys how to make a DIY incubation chamber so that you can keep your agar, liquid culture, grains, etc. at a steady temperature so that they can colonize correctly. For this DIY incubation chamber, we're going to have a budget of around $60. So it's a lot cheaper than some of the ones you can buy that just plug into the wall and stuff. Those are going to be like 100, 150 plus. But it also can be cheaper than what you see here. I went with a decently high quality materials and I kind of just went with the first things that I found. So I'm sure you can make it cheaper than this. Uh, but what you're going to need is a bin with a lid. This is just any kind of plastic bin. Doesn't matter the brand, doesn't really matter the size. It's just whatever size you need to fit where it's going to fit. And then you're going to also want a wire rack or kind of like a dish drying rack. That's going to help keep your grains and stuff raised off of the seed heating mat so you don't get any hot spots or anything. Okay, and something else you're going to need is a seed heating mat. You can find these online pretty much anywhere. There's a bunch on Amazon. Speaking of that, I'm going to leave most of the links for these in the description below. Only problem is a lot of this stuff I actually found in store and I did that to make sure everything fits correctly. Uh, you're also going to need a hygrometer slash thermometer. Uh, this one right here is from Govi. It's great because it can connect to a little app on my phone and I can check the temperature anywhere in my house at any time to make sure everything's running correctly. Now for the assembly, it's pretty straightforward. You just take your bin, you put your seed mat inside, you put your wire rack on top of that, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, you need to connect the thermostat to the seed heating mat, which I show you guys here. There's a bunch of little wires everywhere. Don't mind those. You got three wires for the thermostat, one to plug it into the wall, one for the little probe right there to check the temperature, and then the one going into the seed heating mat. Okay, and I have no idea how I got this confused, but when I first bought this, this thermostat and the seed heating mat, I was so confused as to how to set the temperature correctly, but it really is super simple. You can set, you can change it to be Fahrenheit or to be Celsius, and then to set the actual temperature, you just hold the set button down for three seconds. Once it starts blinking, you can either go up or down in temperature. I like to keep mine around 78, 80 degrees. And you know that it's working because that little red work light is gonna light up. That basically just means that it's heating up and it's gonna go ahead and heat up the entire box until the temperature is around 78, 80 degrees where it'll then kick off. And then once it drops a degree or two, it's gonna kick back on and so on and so forth. It'll keep the temperature consistent. But yeah, that's it for the incubation chamber, guys. And I know this video was super short, so I wanted to add a little bit more value to it by showing you guys my current closet grow setup and it's not a lot of space and this is to show you guys you don't need a lot of space you don't need a lab you don't need a whole temperature control room you don't need grow tents you don't need all that it's really basic stuff to grow your mushrooms you can do it in your closet as i'm showing you guys here i got a little basic ikea desk i got my incubation chamber my two bins my spider farmer 1000 light and all my materials up top i got my soil my grains my ice hoe, my gloves, the whole nine yards. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was short, but I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.